Well, hello, and welcome to day 26 of Lindell Slush's Libering. Today's session is going to be run by Rupert the Cat. Okay, he's quick. <laughs> Just can't. <laughs> Couldn't resist, sorry. I mean, how else are you going to make you fun? Oh, uh, hi, how are you? And how are you, Rupert? Uh, Rupert's insisting he wants to go outside. As you can see, uh, that's not a good idea because it's dark, it's cool, it's starting to be winter in Melbourne. So, uh, actually, he's going to go and use the litter tray. So, that's nice for you guys at home. Uh, hope you're well, hope you've had a good weekend. 26 day, 26, yeah, bring it. Uh, so, today, uh, first day of the week back in, just a chance to check back in with the body. You're going to be doing some gentle uh, mobility, uh, a bit of dynamic stretching, joint mobility, just starting to get all the creaks out of the body again uh, and to remind ourselves that we're alive, which we are, which is good. So, uh, chuck off your slippers or uh, whatever feet warming device. If you're in Europe, I hope it's getting warm. I'm very, very jealous. Because um, it's going to be miserable this week in Melbourne. Oh, brilliant. My friend only had insulation. That's a thing. Anyways, enough about me. Let's get on with you. So, uh, day 26 of this playlist. If you're playing along at home, get your finger O power. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. I just need to turn mine up ever so slightly. I should try not to shout at you. Beautiful, settling down with the feet, rolling through the shoulders. Just gonna change my volume again. Good, set crank. Nice and easy, take this as a chance just to get in, check in with the body. Okay, we're gonna go one forward on back. So back, sorry, back and forward. Beautiful, change arms. Keep breathing. Beautiful, and now with the elbows. Really start to get a little bit of um, breadth across the chest. Now roll your wrists inward, keep going. So it's just slightly changing where the stretch is. Still lifting up through the top of the head, don't crunch the neck and now the wrists are out. Just like a good old morning stretch. And opening out. Keep breathing. Now as the shoulders and the neck want to tighten here, just send a lovely friendly message reminding them to release as you go forwards. <laughs> nice and easy. And forwards with the elbows. Wrist facing out. It might really feel some tightness over the tops of the shoulders. Send a message to let go, roll the wrist inwards. Keep smiling, it makes the tightness go away. It doesn't, it just feels better. All right, and rolling chicken backstroke. Try and use this to get out any tightness that you've just developed. Beautiful, and open, and bet. I'm staying at the moment with the left hand on top all the time. And now the right hand's gonna go on top. Just changing the angle ever so slightly. Beautiful, and figure of eight. Nice and easy. And reverse the direction. I always find I have to do one on one side before I go. And other arm. All right, I'm gonna go backwards, see if I can do it without going. It's not still weird. Beautiful, all right, nodding. Just drop the chin and back to neutral. Keep the knees nice and soft. Looking to the left and still nodding down. Not really looking too far up here, just going back to neutral, back to the other side. And 
Now imagine there's a spot about a meter in front of your body and follow it with your eyes. But let that lead the head around. So you are now slightly tipping the head back, but it's led by the eye movement, which is going to help to engage the protective muscles of the back of the neck. And go the other way. Hey, Rupert, how are you doing? He's insisting he wants to go outside. I know if I open the door, he's going to stand at the door and then come back in. All right, just wiggle it up a little bit. All right, with the wrist. And in fact, let's do the ankle at the same time. Multitasking is a good thing. And the other way. Reversing both the wrists and ankles. Beautiful, changing legs and reversing the wrists again. Good, changing both again. Beautiful, reaching up. And just lift up the heel on one side or the other and use that to wriggle out the hips a little bit. Now slow this down and we're just going to accentuate a little bit. So I'm lifting up onto the ball of the foot on one side and just making it a stretch. And just now linger on this one a little bit longer. So I'm stretching away with the fingertips and then across the other side. Beautiful, reaching for the ceiling. And drop the arms. And in. And back down. So as I get to the bottom, I'm doing a slight straighten of the leg with the head still down. Just getting the legs moving. So each time I'm going down, I'm bending a little more. As I'm bending, I'm starting the butt out behind. And stay down there. Knees bent and roll through the shoulders. Keep going that way. Really let the head go, super heavy. And now rolling the shoulders forwards. Good, bend the knees, rolling up through the spine, stacking the vertebra on top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, back down, two. Back up again, four, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back down again. And teeny tiny bounces, really gentle. Rather than a bounce, it's kind of a, a gentle wave, a bob up and down, an undulation. Now we're going to stay bouncing, but I'm just going to put a little twist around the centre, so turning one side, the other. Still keeping the head nice and heavy. And start to bend the knees a bit more in between, just a tiny bit more. Hello Rupert, are you contemplating that bed? Not good enough? Good, I'm going back down to a crouch. Just let the blood drain out of the head for a second and pop their head down between the legs. And little bounces, very small. Coming up, rolling up through the spine. Beautiful. I'm just going to swing. So keeping the heels on the ground the whole time. Like you're doing bad skiing. I've never really skied that much, so I want to know. Hey, Rupi. Now we're going to stay with bent the legs, but what we're going to do is just turn the arms into running arms. So, so 
Some to get a lot of heat through the calves. Good, stepping out wide and keep going. Running arms. Rupert's gone back to his hot water bottle. I don't blame him. Now I'm just going to start to take these running arms across the body. So I'm going diagonal now by turning the hips. And going a little bit further. So now it's almost like I'm going, oh, hello. You can tell when I'm clearly making these things up as I go. All right, we're going to go up to the knee. Sky and knee. And the other hand's going to come out in front. A little bit of coordination goes in front and behind. Now, if you're warming up, we can go a little bit lower down for the shin. And for the ankle, if you feel like you can. Beautiful, back to the other arm, back to the knee. And if you're feeling comfy, bring in the other arm, bring forward and behind. And down for the shin. And down for the ankle if you're warm enough. Beautiful, swinging the body in a figure of eight. And so the arms go with that. So it's the center chest that's moving and everything else is just moving around it with the momentum. One more set of those, but go a little bit deeper with the legs. So I'm getting quite an up and down motion now. And reverse the direction, kind of like you're chucking away a beach ball that you don't want in a fit of tantrum. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to go to the beach? Beautiful. Now make this horizontal. I'm driving from one foot to the other. Arms are really floppy. Beautiful. Knee to knee. And a little bit lower. Ankle to ankle. And now just take the arms into windmill arms. Up down for my changing music. And a little bit more of a bend. Now take out the weight shift, so we're just doing it on the spot. Beautiful, coming up and bend. And back up. And bend. See how low you can get before it gets unreasonable. Don't do yourself any injuries. Beautiful and swinging. And take this into a figure of eight now. If you want, you can put the hands on, um, fold it over. Just makes it a little bit more intense. Reverse the direction. Otherwise, let the arms go just nice and released. Beautiful. Just coming down onto your butt. And we're just going to push some away. And I've just got a very loose core hold here. Just leaning back a little bit, lifting up the top of the head. Keep the toes pointed for the moment. As I'm going each time, I'm bringing the knees in closer. Now, flex the feet. Let go away. Shoo. Be gone. Keep them flexed double time. Make sure you're not whacking your heels on the ground. All right. Hands down if you want. Otherwise, take the hands up into an outstretched position. Beautiful, rolling down, and up into a bridge, and down, 
Hands up if you want to increase the workload. going to go up and scissor. Keeping the head on the ground for the moment, try and control this movement so you're not just whacking the legs. Controlled by engaging through the core. Good, legs straight up and we're going to go frog legs. And up and frog legs. And up and frog legs. Beautiful, going up, rolling onto all fours, and come up onto your toes, pulling the hands towards the knee. If you're doing this right, it should be starting to shake. Good, now we're going to take two steps forward and back. Try and keep everything stable as you do this so you're not rising up and down. Engage with the shoulder blades, suck the stomach into the core into the spine. Beautiful, arching up. And then. Beautiful, coming up into a crouch, rolling up. And rolling the shoulders. A little bit wider with the legs. And get their hips going. If you want, you can put your thumbs on the pelvis. Just help to feel that the pelvis itself is rocking. Now we're gonna do eight to one side. So move away from that a little bit. Other side. Four, back this way. I can't talk and do it at the same time. Now, two each side. All right, now we're gonna add in some hands. So, one, two. <laughs> Yeah, you're cool. You love it. All right, just singles, but with a little bit of a shift now. A bit more of a scoop. So you're trying to stick your butt cheek one side than the other with your hands. Beautiful. Front to back, stay low. Okay, we're gonna do eight to the front. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And to the behind. One, two, three, four, five, six. And four in front. Four behind. Two. So hard to talk and do it. And circle. Now your thighs might be starting to burn a little bit now, but smile through that. And imagine they're opening up. Now rolling down. Just swap out the hips to release the, the tension in the legs. All right, good. We're gonna start to just gently weight shift from one side to the other. Using your hands for support. If this is too fast, go half time. Each time going a little bit lower within your own limit. As you move across, connect to the heel, and that's what drives you across. Now, if you're really fancy, take away the hands. You know you're fancy. Beautiful, sinking down over one side. Keep the heel on the ground. On this look, leg, look. This one like this for the moment. And now pick up the toe. If you want, you can use this elbow to help increase the stretch in the grain on this leg. And just circle through this foot. 
and change directions. Beautiful, engage with this heel, slide across using the hands to help this time. And just stretching in this position to start with. Heel on the ground here. It's better to keep the heel on the ground and go higher than try and get down low. Foot up. And circle. And the other way. Beautiful, engage with this leg, help yourself up. And gentle bounces. And left, center, right. One more time. If you want, you can put a small twist in it now, so I'm turning as I'm facing the foot. Nice and light. Now what I'm gonna do is pick up the toes in the left foot, turn it out, and still go center. Just go a little bit towards the back leg on this one, don't wanna do your knee. So if you're feeling any pain on the inside of the knee as you go across, just really decrease the distance. Beautiful, bend the knee a little bit and coming up and then reaching forward, setting the butt out, rolling down. Bend the knee, rolling up, reaching out, rolling down. Good, other leg, so bounce, stay in balance, center. Again, if you're feeling any strain on the knee, don't go too far around. Doesn't have to be a big range of movement. Beautiful. Bending the knee on this leg, rolling up. And reach. Stretching down. Bend the knee, rolling up. Reaching out. And down. Uh, did we do four on the other side? I'm going to do four on this side. <laughs> Rolling up, touching up, and down. Bend the knee. Rolling up, and stretching out, and down. Beautiful. Bend the knees in the center. Rolling up. Just kick out the legs for a sec. All right, good, standing on one leg. Now, doesn't matter how far this leg goes up, but we're gonna reach down and as far as you can, touch the ground or have your hand here. If you're falling off balance, you can bend down and do this. So then we come back up again. So staying on the same leg. Reach, two, three. Should get the stretch on the back, back up. Try and control the pace so that you're controlling the movement the whole way down. It's going to challenge the balance on the foot. Doesn't matter which hand you put down. I don't mind for the moment. It changes the balance ever so slightly, but I'm more interested in the stretch along the back. Good. Last one on this side. And back up. Woo! Apparently that's my off balance sound. I discovered this myself. It's a new thing, going down on the other leg. And up. Try and control the pace. Keeping the chest up as you're going down, so don't look for the ground. It's almost like even though you're bending over, you're trying to counter the movement. Two more. And down. Two, three, Four. I'm going to go against the music for a second on my headset. Just so we can get the same pace going up and down. Beautiful. Kick. And use the hands. Beautiful, now we're going to do curtsy lunge. So step, 
behind, but stay low the whole time. Now, however low you go, you can't come back up again. Keep this knee directly over the toe, so you don't want this knee diverting over here like this. You want to keep the knee over the toe, but we're just going to go a little lower each time and try and stretch a little further and start to bring the hands in. Keep the control so we've got the balance going. And if you start to go a little lower, you start to get a bit more work, a bit more of a stretch. You can put this hand down if you need to. Beautiful, going wide and bend. Back onto all fours again and arch again and down. And again. And level up. Check out your butt with a double pulse. And right. And left. And right. One other butt. Check your butt. It's a good one. And double time. Like a really happy dog. And circling around to the left. And the other way. Beautiful. Stretch up. Keep up in an arch. And just wiggle out your butt while you do this. Level off again. Alright, bring the heel up as if you want to touch a button with it. And straight back down. Engage the shoulder blades, bringing the belly button into the spine. So the thigh ends up parallel with the floor. So we're working control here as much as anything else. We're going to do a couple more. By that I mean four. No, two spine edge, just do two more. Beautiful, other leg. So it's good if you've got somewhere you can check out your form. So I'm looking at the back, so I'm looking in the window. So you don't want your butt to be like that. You want to be keeping level across the spine. Two more, I might have lost count, but that's okay. Beautiful, and dropping through the shoulder blades, and back up. A few more on this side, <laughs> on this side, on this exercise. Good, tuck the toes under, into a down dog. Walking through the floor. Now really piston this from the hip, so you're trying to almost push your hip through the ground. And get a little bit of a twist through it. You know, since we're in this position, we might as well go into a plank and control and back. Leg across the diagonal. To the opposite elbow. And we might as well, since we're here, go double time. But try and really control it so you're not bouncing, you're keeping yourself level. One more set. How nice am I? We're not doing double time again. Go back down to a child's pose. And just wiggle out through the chest here, just to help ease up. Creep everything as far as they can go, pull back against it, digging them into the floor. Beautiful. It's coming up into this position. And Hips forward and back, just rocking through until you find a stretch along the flexor here. Just a little squeeze, like you're trying to squeeze a lemon out. Alright, going forwards. Keep the chest up while you do this, don't arch the back.
Okay, we're just going to go a little slower. We're going to go down, two, and here. Don't go into your extremes of stretch, it's a dynamic stretch, so we don't want to hit the end point. We're just moving through the range of movement. One more set of these. And now we're going to go from here right up into a runner's lunge and down. And up. A couple more. Beautiful. Changing legs. And then change sides too because it makes more sense somehow. Leg goes up and the hip. Oh, we did half time, sorry. That's a gentle squeeze. Okay, now we're going forward. Did we do half double time? No, I think we did this time. You think I would know? I don't. I think we did. Let's do it now. Why not? If you're screaming at the TV or the computer, that's fine. And now we're going to slow down for this one because we're going to go forwards and back. Forwards. Back. And up. Beautiful. In this position, we're going to stay up here and we're going to reach up and through. So it's the arm that is the same as the leg that's forward. Reaching up. Beautiful. Just changing legs over. So the same leg that's forward, we go up and through. Beautiful, and back, and forwards, and back, and forwards, back. Try not to move your chest too much as you do this. Just two more. And forwards, and back. Beautiful, come into the down dog. Let the heels stretch towards the floor, lift the butt towards the ceiling. And try and clasp your thighs in the back wall behind you. And creeping up. Bend your knees, rolling up. And just back into rolling the shoulders. Very nice indeed. Alright, just bending the knees really, really lightly. I'm just going to turn through the shoulders. Very gentle, this whimsical. Now keep the hips facing forward, just make this about the shoulders. And now keep going, but keep the head facing forwards. Beautiful. Just reaching up with the hands crossed above the head, bend the knees and circle. Nice, easy circle. Only go as far forwards as you can go back. Change direction. And change the hands over. Change direction. Beautiful. Hands crossed. Up. If you can, hold on to. Up. And circle. Keep the knees nice and soft. Circle the other way. Go 
You're going to shake that out, change it over. Up, out and circle. And the other way. Beautiful. Just take the leg into a quad stretch. So keep the knees level. Lifting up through the head. Don't arch or anything weird like that. Stay on balance. Lengthen the knee down towards the ground. Keep on balance and pull the knee forwards. Weight should be going down through the ball of the grounded foot. Stay on balance. If you can, reach around, grab the foot, pull it up. And if you're feeling comfortable here and your knees aren't bad, give a gentle rock. If you're not feeling comfortable, just hold the stretch. And changing over. Sending this knee down towards the ground, lifting up through the head. Beautiful. Knee up in. And rocking it out like it's a baby. Beautiful. Very lovely indeed. Hey, thanks for joining me back again. Looking forward to some couple more days of sunshine here in Melbourne and then we're going into winter, I feel. So uh, that's fun. Uh, hope you're keeping well, keeping safe, keeping as sane as you can. It will end eventually. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. I mean, yeah, we're on the same boat. Anyways, uh, thanks again for joining me. Lots of love. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.